back to Subaru, Florida. We're here today at World of Beer in Spanish Springs Town Square in the Villages, Florida, which bills itself as Florida's friendliest hometown. And with that, I have the friendly beer professor here today. How we doing? And we're gonna try some beers. They have an extensive draft selection and an extensive bottle selection. So we're gonna check out the menus and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> we got some incredible clown shoes, Imperial Stout, straight out of Massachusetts. And not only does it have a good chocolatey kind of robust flavor, it's a bourbon barrel, um, dis not distilled, but fermented in the bourbon barrels. And it is relatively strong. All I'm gonna say is it's got a little punch to it. Now, having said that, the Hop Secutioner. I had the Hop Secutioner from Terrapin Brewing in Georgia, and it's a, an IPA, but it's 5%, so it's pretty much like a session IPA. It had really good flavor, and it was great. You could just drink it all day, so I liked it a lot, because the name always um, threw me off a little bit. I thought it was gonna be really strong with that name, but it's a great IPA. Would you say it's almost more like a pale ale, or? No, it's an IPA. It's just okay. very sessionable. So it had some hops to it. Yep. And I'm going to pick another beer to have in a minute. Probably a red or an amber. I'm probably going to go with a barley wine. So we took a little break, played some bingo, and ordered some more beer. What'd you get, beer professor? Woo! I got myself some barley wine from Sierra Nevada. It's the Bigfoot. You may have had this before. It's an American barley wine. It's a little bit hoppier than your traditional barley wines. And if you're not familiar with barley wine, this is something you want to start with. You know, maybe uh, graduate to a Pelican Brewing, Mother of All Storms, or a Cockeyed Cooper out of Uinta Brewing. But this right here, boom, you're going to love it. I went with a black ale. I got the Back in Black from 21st Amendment Brewery. They're out of San Francisco. I like their beers a lot. And it's a nice dark ale. Um, I didn't check what hops they were, but I'll find out and I'll put them on the screen there. And it's really, really good. It's um, not malty, because people think black is going to be malty like a porter or a stout, but it's not. It's like a, a pale ale or an ale just with darker malts. It's really delicious and refreshing. There's so many varieties out there. And you know what? You really got to go out and find them, give them a shot, give it a try. And I'm telling you, this is the place to do it. And we have our friend Sandy in from out of town, who did not want to be on camera, but she has no choice. <laughs> She's drinking a Duke's Big Nose Brown Ale. All right, see you later. So that was pretty fun. We actually uh, started playing the bingo game. And on the very last one, it was the one where you have to fill out the full card. And I actually won. So that was really fun. Uh, they do bingos on Tuesday nights here. And we had some fun food and great beer. And I'm sure we'll be back. I just look distinguished for a second. <laughs> and speed. So we took a little break to pay some. <laughs> Group one. Continue. Hello. And speed. And it's awfully cold there up on the mountain, and they're putting their rain capes on before their descent. It's awfully chilly as you go down them roads there. <laughs> I love my barley wine. 